Hey guys, Lisa here from Maxim Farm and today we're going to be talking about um, pigeon peas. In Jamaica it's called gungu peas and these are actually um, protein filled. They're from the legume family. Um, we find that in certain climate here in definitely in Central Florida sometimes they grow year round and as you can see these are at different stages of growth so that one is just blossoming we actually reaped a couple times from this one and these there are different types I'm not sure of the names but I know you know to recognize them by color and these are just the pure green breed over here we have one that has some stripes through it I think we have about five different types here. I'll show you another type. So here is another type as well. This is pure green, but they tend to be just a little bit smaller in size. And as you can see, these trees, they grew, do grow tall. This one is probably at least um, 10 to 12 feet right now. Now this is a different type as you can see these are brown even when they are um, even when they are immature so that's not a sign that they are dry and again this is another tree that is over um, 10 feet. I've actually, actually used a stick <laughs> to reach some of these um, while I was reaping today but let's compare the size of the pea and see. Okay, so these are a few of the um, variety that we harvested today. So here are just a side-by-side -side comparison. So these are the smaller green. These are the full green that looks a little bit yellow when they're ready. These have the brownish spot and these are pure brown. I'm going to let me break each of them and then show you what the size of the pea look like. So in terms of comparison or size, I don't see any significant difference if you actually allow them to fully mature. Of course, um, if they are not fully mature, usually the size of the grain would not be so big. So the real difference that I've noticed with growing a variety is just the frequency that some of them um, bear or reproduce each year so these tend to be very um, fertile <laughs> or they reproduce very fast um, these usually are once per year run around December into January but they'll last longer the season will last longer and then we also have another type that is not in season yet it's typically late around February January or February so um, we have all the varieties available on um, the Etsy shop. So whenever you purchase, you get a combination of all four types or whatever is in season. And because we usually just harvest directly and um, have those available, we don't store them. So whatever you get is usually freshly picked and packed. So thank you again for choosing Maxim Farm and we look forward to sharing our bounty with you. Take care. Bye-bye.